We're back with continuing, continuing coverage on the anti-government protests in Iran. Tonight, a pro soccer player faces possible execution for his alleged role in a violent anti-government protest. Amir Nasir uh, Azadani is accused of being a member of an armed group involved in the killing of three security officers. Now, Iran has been rocked by protests since September when a young woman named Masa Amani died in, while in the custody of the country's morality police. In recent days, Iran has carried out two executions, including a man hanged publicly for a crime. Activist Danya Zaraksari is here with us on the Factor on Sensor. Glad to have you back. Thank you. It's just heartbreaking, disturbing to have people hung, executed, and in one case publicly, before the public in Iran. What can be done about this? Obviously, you have been ringing the bell, ringing the alarm here on the Factor in the city of Houston, around the country as much as you can. Do you see any hope, any change? on the horizon. I believe what's happening in Iran with the executions is to inject fear and terror to the, to the public, to stop the uh, protests and revolution, the ongoing revolution. But I don't, I don't see people stopping from, you know, people are not going to stand back. They're not going to just settle for a reform. I see in the last few days that with reciting the names and hashtagging and, and saying the names and even finding political sponsors around the world, especially in Germany, for the people who are listed to be executed. Some of the executions are being delayed or just let go completely. In, on December 8th, they hung uh, Mohsen uh, Shekari, which was from my neighborhood. Um, nobody knew. His family didn't know. They were informed after he was hung. That was private. Wow. On the 11th, we had a protest here. It went so well. The amazing uh, police department here protected us. They had sworn to protect us. They did that. But in Iran, the police department is not doing that. We came home. We were editing the videos. We were, we were all happy about the, the amazing protest we had at the city hall. And then at 11.30 p.m., which is around 5, 5.30 in the morning, on the 12th in Iran, they hung um, Majid Reza uh, publicly, and then they informed his family that he was buried somewhere by 7 a.m. Just somewhere? Well, they showed him, they showed the family where he was buried, but they never told the family to come and say goodbye. They don't do that. It's, the families are devastated. It's so heartbreaking and disturbing to watch those videos. To go from the freedom and the freedom of expression that you have here in the United States to what you see in your home country, how is that? Is it almost foreign now, or is it disturbing that you can't do anything about it and the world has not joined in to try and stop it? I believe the world needs to join in and they are joining in even united nations you know every time you have me here i go over the list of demands right and those demands are actually happening united nation uh, expelled iran on the topic of uh, women um there were eight votes that was against this and i have no idea who those were i'm like who's supporting this right but it, it, i i still don't see united states doing anything about it because they're still making deals on the nuclear and oil with Iran. They're being kinder to Iran than they should be. But I see you, you, uh, Europe and uh, Canada moving forward and actually sponsoring these kids that are going to be hung. Hopefully not, it's so heartbreaking. Every time I wake up every morning, I'm like, I don't wanna check my Instagram. Right, right. You never know what you're going to see no. next and who may have died or who has been executed, not died, but executed. Absolutely. It's, it's heartbreaking. I don't know how to stress this. This is, uh, you know, we should not be insensitive about these things as, as Americans because I consider myself I'm an American as well. Yes. We should not be insensitive ab about this because injustice in Iran is literally injustice everywhere. Same thing, same thing with Ukraine, same thing with Afghanistan. You know, I call myself an activist, so I care about everyone equally. These are basic human rights that we're talking about. And, and really quick in the time yeah. we have remaining, what can you tell Americans they can do? As we say every time you're on here, what can they do to get involved really quick? They can, pr they can I ask 
Americans to please go and look at the list um, of uh, in free Iran uh, htx.com please go look at the list of these kids that are going to be hung they are sentenced to prison or they're going to be hung please sponsor them please hashtag their names please share please follow us on social media and be our voice that's that's all they can do and the pol politicians can sponsor them and and email the ambassadors email anyone that they know and expel these ambassadors from the government from the country I don't really believe the Iranian regime people should be living in the free nation as such. If they're against the U.S. and Europe and Canada, why do they live in the West? Why their kids and grandkids live here? They should be expelled. Their monies and assets, their bank accounts and assets should be Frozen. expelled. They should be. They should be Absolutely. expelled. Donya, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much we for having me. It. We'll be back with more Factor Uncensored in just a moment. Stay with us.